Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today I've got an awesome BMW Airhead to show you. This is a 1982 BMW R100 RT. So that's the touring model. We've got this awesome fairing, uh, kind of like even like a dash right here in the uh, windshield. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, the ownership history, cause it's kind of interesting and of how we acquired this BMW. Uh, we'll go over all of its condition. It has some really cool uh, modifications um, kind of upgrades and improvements to the bike and we'll talk about uh, the original part to get with it as well the uh, previous owners were super meticulous and they kept all the original parts that came off um, to install these accessories um, and we'll talk about some uh, recent service history and even see a cold start um, that was filmed about 10 minutes <laughs> before i'm riding it right now it sat for over a week in our um, in our showroom so it was an ice cold start and you'll get to see that as well but first, uh, let me take a few laps on it. You can see how well this shifts and ride and how it sounds. Um, and then we'll get into kind of the nitty gritty on it and take a closer look. So as I mentioned in the intro, uh, I'm gonna start it and go for a couple laps in the parking lot here. Um, you'll get to see how all the lights work nicely, um, how smooth this runs, how quiet it runs, and how smooth it shifts. The clutch action is very smooth. Throttle response is great. And let's do that. Right into first. So now I'm going to grab the camera in hand and we're going to take a close look at this BMW. So starting out, I'll just show you around the R100. We can see its overall condition and that beautiful purple color. We can see the alloy wheels in very nice shape. I love that design, the design of the spokes. We have our cylinders here of the engine. Just look how clean all this is. You would never, you know, think this is from 82. Got our dash here even all the lenses of the gauges they're not you know marred or, or scratched up uh, they're all in very nice shape nothing's faded like the bikes you know been outside with the sun on it and of course i'm sure you're noticing there's a lot of accessories <laughs> a lot of uh, really cool and pretty rare accessories on this r100 and we will get into that in just a couple minutes see the condition of the exhaust i'll go around to the other side now. The plastics are in such good shape, that purple color. I, I love the purple color. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Checking out the engine. We've got our three cases on the back here. That's a genuine uh, Luftmeister trunk case there. And we will get into that in just a few minutes. Uh, but now that we've done a quick walk around, you've seen uh, how clean this bike is. You know, I'm not showing you the good side, so to speak. <laughs> Every side of this bike is the good side. Uh, let's talk about how we acquired it and some of the ownership history, because it, uh, it is pretty interesting. So I've got a bit of a story here for you. So uh, we took this bike on a trade for our brand new Ural gear up um, from a local customer of ours who has uh, bought Urals from us in the past. So he had this around a year. Uh, the owner before him that he bought it from was a bike and car enthusiast who was also an engineer um, who did all of these uh, improvements and upgrades to the bike which I will go over um, in just a couple moments here uh, but the uh, owner we got it from who bought the Ural from us uh, as I may have mentioned he bought Urals from us in the past and he, he missed being on three wheels so he loved every second of this BMW but ultimately uh, he knew we'd find um, a next, you know, caring, appreciative owner for it. So he traded it in with us uh, to get back, you know, on three wheels on a Ural. Uh, but the uh, owner, you know, we got it from, uh, he has a ton of information from the, the previous owner who did all of these upgrades and improvements 
um, as I just mentioned. So now let's get into that of what this R100 has uh, installed on it. So we've got progressive fork springs. We've got a billet lower fork brace and a billet upper triple clamp. We can see the lower brace here. So the installed combination of the uh, billet fork brace and billet upper triple clamp, um, it eliminates all possible fork flex. So that's very cool. It has uh, a new windshield. The old one was just showing its age, um, just with you know being a clear piece of plastic that uh, of this age. So nothing kind of out of the ordinary there. Uh, but so that is new. We have a Garmin a GPS that's included. It's uh, hardwired in. As you can see, it's mounted on the handlebars. And I've been told there is a new map update available as well. So that's pretty cool. Usually on used bikes. Um, you know, the owners keep their kind of electronics and accessories off of it. Um, so that's definitely uh, some value added there and just convenience. We have a, a new style, larger left-hand mirror. So that's very nice. A uh, adjustable on the fly uh, throttle friction hold. So to eat up those miles and be on the highway, uh, we can make that throttle a little less uh, stiff to hold. Uh, has heated grips as well. Uh, a big thing on these, it's had uh, unleaded valves and valve seats installed, uh, professionally installed. And we do have pictures, uh, the valves on this. Um, they are clean. They are free of like deposits and, and carbon on them. Um, so I will include those uh, in this video. I'll pop them up on the video for you right now. But like I said, we inspected it. The valves are very clean. We have a uh, electronic voltage regulator, as we can see right here. And I will show you, um, this bike comes with a lot of original parts um, that were replaced by these uh, you know, upgraded parts or different parts. Um, and the original voltage regulator is included. Um, it does not work, but it is repairable. So that's why you know, this one uh, was installed here. And a note from the owner as well, uh, previous owner that this voltmeter it it reads 1.4 volts less than the actual voltage so as we said the original ones included if you wanted to uh, rebuild that to be back in working order it's got a stainless steel exhaust system i showed you um, the condition of that and then it has a can and air filter as well we've got a corbin a double leather seat this thing is crazy comfortable and we can see it really contours to you and we have uh, the original seat in pretty much perfect condition which I will grab in just a few minutes I'll grab the original parts and lay them out for you what else do we have uh, we have the Lufmeister auxiliary tanks they are period correct so we can see these uh, these are auxiliary gas tanks you can see the fuel line I'm um, running into the connection there to go to the carburetor so there's one on each side uh, the paint the decals everything's in really really good shape and I see decals, these, I think they're decals. They might even be painted on, but they look like decals. But either way, uh, you know, they're not, they're not faded or like some of it's like chipped off, like it was cleaned too aggressively. Um, it's really just in impressive shape. So really cool, you can even see the welds. These, these are metal tanks. Um, you can even see the, the welds underneath the paint there. Um, very high quality. And we can see that's teed into our uh, connection as well and we do have the original side covers that these replaced which you'll see those shortly uh, the uh, Luftmeister rear trunk once again period correct so we can see it has a backrest on it for the pillion and the paint everything's just in really good shape the badging on it and I can open this up for you the interior of it's very nice nothing's like rusted or, or cracked up or anything um, even this rubber seal is all intact it's not like deteriorating and if i aim the camera a bit better for you we can see there's some original parts in here as well in, uh, that are included so we have a rider's manual we have some various uh, bulbs and fuses and such uh, some tools we have the original toolkit and this awesome <laughs> leather wrap uh, we have a, a battery charger because uh, i'll get to it um, and just a moment here, but this does have a, uh, a port, a power port, I guess you could call charger port installed on it. Um, but you can also charge the bike's battery with it using this. And we even have uh, an original, looks like light bulb, some other fuses and items in there. So that's all very cool. 
the latch works beautifully on this. And I'll show you in the side cases real quick um, while we're on the topic. So these all work great. You can see that folds open. It's got the original decals in there. Very clean. Everything works beautifully. I'll show you the other side quickly here. See, there's a couple fuses in there, it looks like. I forgot to take out of there. But tons of storage space. And this is the RT, so it's the touring model. So that's why with the additional tanks and the storage space, like you could have some awesome adventures on this bike or just commute on it or go around town and get groceries. <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, this bike can do it. So uh, we have a chrome heavy duty luggage rack trunk support, um, which holds up our Luftmeister trunk. And the original luggage rack is included as well. You know, this bike, the original, um, or sorry, the previous owners are just so meticulous and caring. <laughs> so it's, it's really impressive to have all these original parts still. Uh, we have a uh, new Coney rear shocks. They are new old stock. So we can see how nice those look. So they are period correct. They were new old stock. I'm not sure how he sourced those, but he did. It's really cool. We have a Browns side stand, which you see is folded up right now, but this works, works beautifully. It's really high quality too. You can, you can tell by the kind of thickness of the material and how, how everything's designed. Uh, it has a ride off center stand. So we can see it's on the center stand, but both tires are just touching the ground. So it makes it super easy to just pop it into gear and get off the center stand when you're going to take off. We have a radar detector. I'm sure maybe I should have mentioned that when we were, when we were at the dash last, um, but really cool hardwired in. Um, it's got the radar detector there. And then the uh, BMW power outlet, it's technically called um, it doubles as the battery charging port, which I believe that is right here. Yes, it is. So we had that uh, we had that charger in the trunk I showed you to charge the battery, and then there is a uh, BMW size large electric uh, heated vest that's included with this bike as well. So that would also um, plug into that port to offer uh, power to that. So. I think I've gone over everything that this bike has installed as far as kind of upgrades and improvements. Uh, I've gone over some of the original parts that are included. We also have uh, oil filters included. Uh, you saw the light bulbs and we have some duplicate keys, uh, the original rider's handbook. And we have a thick uh, BMW R Series repair manual as well, which I'll show you that um, in a few minutes. Now let's talk about recent service. Uh, so 300 miles ago, uh, every single BMW recommended service item was carried out. Uh, it's, this includes, but is not limited to head bolts torqued, valve adjustments made, car, uh, carbs or carburetors synced up, uh, the swing arm, rear drive, transmission, engine, oil and filter changed, uh, new spark plugs, wheel bearings, and the uh, head bearings were greased in the frame, and then the uh, K&N filter was cleaned and oiled up. Uh, the rear uh, bevel drive seal was replaced 2,000 miles ago. So if I go to the right side of the bike, you can see our bevel drive in there. It's bone dry. Very nice. Also, the transmission clutch spline um, was lubed with spline grease. Um, the throwout bearing was greased as well. So this was just done to ensure smooth and easy clutch, clutch operation. Once again, like I said, this bike was in some meticulous hands, really did a lot of preventative maintenance um, and just really cared for it. So now before I grab the original parts and show you those, uh, of course, I'm sure you've been waiting to hear this thing run. So I'll start it up for you um, and then we'll check out the original parts installed and we'll finish out uh, the video on this really cool BMW. I will quickly mention before I start it, uh, we've even got vents here that direct air intakes from the front, um, almost like vents in your car, except it uses the air, <laughs> the rushing air from, from riding. Um, those are really cool to direct on you. And then we've got uh, these little storage cubbies here. You unlock with the key, this cover pulls off and it's um, almost like having two kind of little glove boxes in the front, um, all once again, very nice. So now what we're gonna do 
is turn our key on. You can see we even have an air temp gauge there. Now I'm gonna put it in the run position. We can see our neutral light is on. And of course the oil light um, and generator light is on, but those will go off once the bike's running and it um, just makes sure that the battery's charging and that it has oil pressure. And then we can see that voltmeter is reading around 11. So if that's reading 1.4 volts low, then we're at around 12 and a half, which is right where a battery needs to be. So now all we're gonna do is turn our choke. This is an ice cold start. The bike has not been started today um, or even in the past few days, honestly, it's just been sitting in the showroom. We can see I can put my hand on the cylinder head. I can grab the header and just hold my hand here. It is ice cold. It actually is cold in my hand. My hand's warmer than it. <laughs> uh, so we have the choke pulled. I'm gonna turn on our gas here. And now let's turn it on on our right side. There we go. The pet cocks work nicely. And I believe all we have to do is hit the start button. So let's do that. Pretty impressive. 1982, you can tell how well this thing is sorted and tuned. Just some normal condensation from it sitting. Now it's been idling a couple minutes. Uh, the choke's all the way off. We can see uh, this would be turning it on and you can see it's bottomed out right there. The auto response is great. It idles super smooth. You can see I'll twist the throttle a little bit for you. And it just hums right along. I'll go around it here. The mic's on my person, so we can hear each cylinder. It's very quiet. Exhaust is very clean. There's a little bit of condensation because it's been sitting. Really, a really nice tuned and nice running bike. So now I'm in our showroom. I decided to lay the parts out on our clean concrete floor. I didn't want to put them out on the pavement outside, still a little damp from when we had some rain. We've got some BMW uh, kind of carrying bags. We've got our R-Series manual, very thick and everything's in good shape. You can see, you can read all the pages, there's no like water damage or anything going on there. Original seat in very nice condition. Let me flip it up here. You can see the Underside, the seat pan's in really good shape, and the uh, wrapping of the leather, everything is tight. Nothing's coming loose. It's in really remarkable shape. We have those original side covers I spoke of, where those tanks are, and the uh, original luggage rack for the back. Let me flip these around so you can just see the condition. There's no cracks or anything of that nature. And there is, uh, in this bag here, I can unzip it for you, uh, there is a bike cover. It's hard to unzip this one-handed. Uh, there is a bike cover in here for it. So that is in there for you to use. So now I am back outside, and I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new today um, or just enjoyed watching the video. Uh, as of today's date, when this video is released, this R100 RT is available. Uh, in our inventory at Alpha Cars. So definitely check out the listing. It'll be linked in this video and in the description. If I missed anything, uh, if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or give us a call at 978-263-9000. Uh, this has been Ian reporting from our Boxboro location. Uh, please leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss the latest uh, cars, bikes, and accessories we have to offer here at Alpha